Hello, uh, the executors here. So, um, in this video, I will just uh, show you how to set up uh, correctly your textures in order to achieve um, this render um, on, uh, on your, uh, your character. So, you will uh, quickly learn how to set up the maps here. and how to play with uh, different uh, kind of characters uh, skin okay this will simply allow you to uh, take uh, all the textures uh, you can have with the character I uh, provide um, on my stores and uh, render this uh, out on a monosic tool bag. Um, so um, the goal, if, uh, if I want to be more clear, uh, would be just to, uh, to show you how you can uh, make your animations um, made on Akitsu, for example, uh, look uh, as cool as this, um, but uh, on your side okay so I will just remove every texture okay so here I will I just uh, drag and dropped uh, my um, my FBX okay with its uh, animation which I can find here okay then I will uh, simply load um, this material to the UE4 template and the uh, lightsaber template. Okay, so one will go on the eye, the other will go on the body, and I'm not in the, the default one uh, anymore. So um, from here, I will just need to uh, double check everything looks correct. So the micro surface need to be set up to gloss on the green channel and be inverted to look correct and then the metal nest is okay everything is okay cool maybe push the emissive uh, at 10 it should be good so Here um, I have my um, uh, my textures. So uh, you have five textures uh, per skin. So we'll uh, create the protector uh, one. So I just need to drag and drop the albedo here. The normal map here. Okay then the emissive here and now the C1 which packs the roughness or glossness in its uh, green channel in red you have the metalness and in blue you have the ambient occlusion the C3 will um, um, store the specular level map in its blue channel and the cavity map in its red channel. The green channel will be used only to make the transparency of the eye. Okay. I just reduce this uh, to 50. Okay. Um, and just turn it blue like this okay now I will just need to check that this is um, unchecked the S, the S RGB on the C1, C3 and normal map channels 
So now this is good, C1 should be good. And C3 is good as well. So it's cool. We may see it in FRGB, so it's it's good. Um, if you want to make uh, things glow, um, you will just need to use um, the bloom setting here in the camera uh, you are in. So I'm just on the main camera, it's the default one in the um, Marmoset Toolbag uh, scene. So if I bring the, gl the, the, the brightness of the bloom um, higher, you can see that everything, every pixel that is um, uh, bright, already bright, have a little halo uh, uh, around it, so... And you can play with the size to increase or decrease this, um, this uh, halo size. You can also play with a color if you want, which can be good if you want to um, make uh, only um, the blue part of the, the this halo um, shown. Okay, so since this is a blue color, it will uh, pop out. But if I want to use a red color, I will uh, almost lose the. the this uh, this part of the glow green should work as well since the the bluish color I've taken is also a little greenish. Okay, so you can affect your glow like that if you want. Um, okay, so from this point, if you want to uh, choose another skin for your animation because maybe you don't like this one or you prefer using another one. You only need to duplicate your uh, shaders like this. So I will duplicate the eye as well. Then you will just drag and drop this and this, and maybe rename them so you will uh, recall who is used. So just to be sure, okay. And I will. Um, I will use the Solaris one, okay? So I just need to change the C3 here. And here, C3 plus um, every map, in fact. Okay. Okay, then I will just need to change the glow color of the eye, like this, and I'm done. And each time I will need to edit this, I will just uh, need to drag and drop my new materials in it. 